Hello everyone, my name is Rose Shards, but feel free to call me Rose, Rosie, or Chloe, and today I'm bringing you guys another Cream and Spooky video. The piece I'm working on will actually be part of a Draw This In Your Style challenge I'm hosting, so uh, more information on that later. Uh, I asked you guys what you wanted to see for this one, and surprisingly enough, a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about backgrounds. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys meant backgrounds in general or Cream and Spooky styled ones, but um, considering this is a Cream and Spooky video, I will be talking about, you know, the style I use for Cream and Spooky. Um, a few of you guys also wanted some updates, which is completely fair, so I'll also kind of try to talk about, you know, some new things as well uh, that are happening with the series. Also, I am using a new headset my mom got me for my birthday the other day, so hopefully I sound a little bit better. Uh, I mean, at least the headset looks cool, so there's that if uh, all else fails. Uh, but before I get more off topic, I'd like to talk about this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a really great online platform if you're looking to learn a lot of creative and innovative things. There's thousands of amazing classes to explore, with new things being posted every day. We all know the holidays are coming up, so if you're looking to make someone a personalized, handmade gift, this would definitely be a great place to look for some tips and tricks. A class I really loved was Gia Graham's How to Create a Perfect Color Palette for Digital Art. I think I have a decent enough understanding of colors, but as I've been trying to push myself lately, I've actually realized that coming up with a palette can actually be a lot harder than it seems. Like, a lot harder. Like, I've been trying to color some of my characters for weeks at this point harder. Um, but uh, yeah, looking back at some other stuff I've done as well, and you know, some other stuff I'm currently working on, I can definitely see how the colors can be a lot stronger. So when I found this class, I was so thankful. The tips and tricks she talks about for picking colors are absolutely amazing and have been extremely helpful when it comes to designing the characters for this upcoming project I've been working on. What else is great about Skillshare is that there's no ads, new classes are always being posted, and an annual membership costs less than $10 a month. However, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description will actually get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, so hurry now because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. So I guess I'm going to start off by talking about backgrounds. So obviously I do my sketch first, but instead of just going directly to painting like I do for my other backgrounds, I do line art instead for this style. I personally feel that the line backgrounds fit in a lot more with the cream and spooky world rather than the more painted stuff. Since the characters and universe are kinda bright, I feel that the line art adds more of a bold and fun look to it if that makes any sense. Doing the line art also helps with a lot of the detailing later on, so I try to add in a lot of little grass strands and you know, everything like that during this stage. I actually don't think I've drawn snow in this style yet, so this was actually a pretty fun little experiment I guess. I decided to outline where I wanted the snow to be on the trees, but I also sort of wanted the snow to kind of blend in, so I tried to break up the line art at points if that makes any sense at all. Uh, I don't know, but uh, maybe me talking about the colors will actually help you guys understand a little bit better. So when it comes to coloring these backgrounds, I just select the areas I want to color and kind of tackle one area at a time. Like I'll usually make a coloring layer for the trees, then the rocks, etc. Ironically enough, this background is actually pretty simple, so all the trees and crystals and stuff are all on one layer, but I didn't want to make this piece too complicated considering it's part of a draw this in your style challenge. And like, I mean, I don't want to expect that much from you guys, I think that makes sense, but um, anyways, I color, kind of making the stuff further off in the distance more of a bluish color to blend in more with the sky and add depth, but also not entirely since like, I don't imagine like, everything this piece is super far away like i imagine like you know they're pretty close to the focal point but whatever i'm kind of rambling um and when it came to adding other like when it came to adding some other colors to the trees and stuff and the snow i made sure the opacity for my brush wasn't at 100 percent just to add some color variation and to make sure things kind of like you know blended together sort of like i was talking about with like breaking up the line art uh, i also used a speckle brush in a few areas to add some textures mainly for the snow uh, so now it's time for shading and highlights. For backgrounds in this style, I always start with the shading, which is usually which I usually draw as a brightish color on top of my background elements using a layer mask. I try to make the colors more saturated so they pop a bit more, especially since cartoons are usually known for being bright and vibrant, but it sort of depends on the look I'm going for in the end. Anyways, once I'm done with that, I set it to a multiply layer, and then I add some more subtle gradients using a soft brush, and then I like to add some texture using a speckle brush. I then, adjust the, I then adjust the opacity of the layer until I find something I'm happy with. 
for highlights, it's a pretty similar idea. I draw with a lighter color, uh, never fully white though, uh, where the light would be shining on an object or a character or whatever, and then I smooth it out with a soft brush and maybe add some textures, but yeah. Uh, I tend to use overlay layers for highlights, but it really depends on what looks best. It never hurts to play around with your different settings, so you know, don't be scared of experimenting. After that, I try to make everything fit more into the environment by adding a lot of multiply layers, overlay layers, and more. I'll darken some areas, light in some areas, you know, just whatever I'm feeling will work best for the piece. I almost always use a soft brush for everything in this stage because I want these details to definitely be a lot more subtle than like bold and in your face. These are just the kind of enhanced things I've already drawn. Uh, an example of something I may do is draw a huge soft circle around the main light source, uh, the moon in this case, and then I'll play around with the layer modes like overlay or hard light, and then I'll lower the opacity until it fits in. I also usually go over my highlights again and do the same thing. I also may add some other little things to the piece that I think, you know, will add to it. Uh, I didn't actually end up recording this part, but I actually added a few little Christmas lights to the trees, uh, which I, you know, I thought they looked kind of cute in the end, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's how I do the backgrounds for Cream and Spooky in a nutshell. Of course, everything can kind of depend, but that's usually how it goes. Uh, but even though I was talking about backgrounds, I didn't want to make this piece too complicated, as I said, because you guys will have to draw it to be part of the Draw This In Your Style Challenge. And if you haven't already assumed, essentially you just need to draw this piece in your style to take part. Everyone who draws one will be featured on the Cream and Spooky Instagram story at the very least, and maybe some of you guys will even get reposted to the actual page. However, there will be two official winners of the challenge. The first place winner will get their choice of poster, either the uh, Cryptic Universe poster or the Haunted Mansion poster, I did some speed paints on these, uh, as, well as, a dig as well as a digital illustration. And the second place winner will get the remaining poster as well as a less detailed illustration. I might add some more prizes and stuff if it gets pretty popular though. Uh, I'm also still finalizing some of the details for this contest, uh, so if you're really interested, please do make sure you're checking out the Cream and Spooky Instagram page, that's where everything will be posted, all the details, that's where you'll have to enter. So unfortunately, if you do not have Instagram, you won't be able to join. Uh, you know, it just makes everything easier for me. But um, now that the meat of this video has been discussed, I would like to take a brief moment to kind of update you guys on what's happening with Crew and Spooky as a series. Uh, not much has really changed since I last updated you guys, but I can definitely confirm a few things. Uh, as for what I can confirm, I am looking into creating a pilot for this series and will be scripting this pilot over January and or February. I'm working out what I'd like the pilot to focus on, but it's definitely something that I'm going to be trying to work on. Uh, I'm likely going to be doing a Kickstarter to raise funds for it, and yeah, a few things will definitely be changing, you know, just about like the main series and a little bit of the concept, especially considering I've gotten feedback from, indus from industry professionals now, which is actually like really cool. Um, uh, something else is I'm still kind of unsure of where I like everything to air due to YouTube's copper restrictions. I know I don't really have a ton of options, but like, trust me, I am looking into everything I can. Uh, if it does end up being on YouTube, which like would be ideal because, you know, <laughs> I do YouTube and I want to do more like original stuff on here, uh, I may end up changing a few little things in the series just to kind of um, make it more targeted towards a teenage audience. Uh, which, you know, might, might not actually be that bad because when I say there are some darker themes in the series, I honestly really do mean pretty dark. Sometimes I look at what I've created and I'm like, oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> um, but you know, do take that with a grain of salt. That's absolutely not close to being confirmed at all. Of course, like, this will like, I still have to look at all of my options. So, you know, really, the, whatever. <laughs> Ignore that, maybe. I don't know. Um... But something else I would like to talk about that is confirmed is I will be bringing another animated series to YouTube. Uh, this is a mini web series directed more towards teens, so you know, COPPA will not be an issue, and I will hopefully be able to fund this through Kickstarter or something similar. It's significantly smaller than Cream and Spooky, but this is what makes it a lot easier to complete. Animation takes way too much time. Um, I'd like to have my channel focus a lot more on my own original animated content, characters, series, you know, uh, and, you know, I'm really glad that this is, like, kind of, like, finally the start of that. Like, I'm finally heading towards that direction. Uh, so I really do hope you guys are looking forward to it. A trailer for this project will be dropping in January or early February. I've already contacted some voice actors, been like, it's, this is, like, a lot of work. I've been, like, 
in the pre-production stage for like months now. Um, I will also be doing a animation meme with the characters that should potentially come out uh, a, maybe a week after this video is released. I really don't know. This is like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Y'all know it'll be coming out soon. Whatever, like soon enough. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I do think this is all pretty exciting. So I hope you guys are excited for it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've got a ton of huge things planned that I really hope you guys are looking forward to. Uh, if you're interested in, in participating in the Draw This In Your Style Challenge and maybe even winning some cool prizes, do not forget to check out the Cream and Spooky Instagram page. It will be linked below. Everything should be posted by the time this video is aired, but whatever. If not, check back like the next day, but it should be posted. Um, and you know, that's all for now. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.